Hello everyone, my name is Onkita. Today I am going to explain how to use your own dataset for object detection. For object detection on custom dataset, at first you have to annotate your data. I am used Microsoft Word software for image annotation. So in Microsoft Word software, at first you have to click on new project. I want to use dog dataset for image annotation. So my project name is dog here. Then you have to add the source connection. In the source connection, you have to add the path of your dataset. At first, you have to click on the add connection. Then you have to give a name at display name and you need to remember it. I am using dog dataset for this project. So my source connection name is dog dataset. Then you have to click on the provider. You have to select the local file system because we have to upload image from local a local machine now you have to select your folder path which folder contains the images the images which you want to annotate so just click on select folder and select and select the uh, date folder which contains your data set just like this and then click on save connection. Then go to the source connection and add your source connection path here. Okay, then as in the same way, you have to go for the target connection. Just click on add connection and you have to give a name at display name and you have to remember remember it my target connection name will be dog data and then just click on the provider i want to use my source connection um, I want to use my uh, source connection path as a my target connection path. So I'm selecting my source connection folder as my target connection folder. So just click on the, I'm selecting the look at first I'm selecting the local file system. Then I'm selecting my source connection uh, path. Because I want to use the same folder for my source connection and my target connection you can also use another folder for target connection just click on the choose folder and then click the save connection and then you have to add the target connection my target connection uh, name is dog data so i'm just add it here okay then go for the tags tags basically denote class label for an example if you want to detect one class like dog write it here and press enter just like this just write dog here and press enter but if you want to detect multiple class then you have to add multiple tags here and after each and every tag you have to press enter just like this i am uh, i am using uh, another class person here so just adding another tag here and press enter then save project so in this project i have only two class dog and person if you want to add multiple class then you have to add multiple tags just click on the save project and this is my data set I want to use rectangular box for annotation. So I select rectangle, rectangle for upper bar and cover my object with the rectangle. And after that, tag it like, just like this. Just I am selecting 
the rectangle from the upper bar and cover my object with the rectangle and tag it in the same way my neck in the same way i am annoting my second image just like this just cover my object with the rectangle and tag it in the same way you have to tag every images of the folder now i am selecting this image because this image contain multiple object here our main aim is object detection so i have to so i have to uh, select each and every doc separately and tag it just like this and i also annot the person here so i am just covering this person face with the rectangular box and tag it after adding tag each and every images you have to click on the export you have to click on the export settings just like this in the export settings provider gives us different types of option like csv format pascal box format word json format i want to store it in the csv format so just click on the csv just click on it and then click the save, save export settings just like this and then go to your target connection folder and here is our csv file which contains our annotation in this way you can annot your data for object detection in the next day i will explain how to use your annotated data for training thank you